So the thing with coffee is that, yeah, anyone can have an intolerance to it. But coffee is a strange one because some people get overstimulated by coffee compared to other people. So some people can have just one cup and it gives them that anxiety and that little bit of shaky effect. Whereas other people can drink a whole stack more. But on top of that, then you've got the intolerance symptoms that can kick in as well. And so it's sometimes a little bit difficult to tell whether it's just overstimulation or whether it's the intolerance of it. Either way, if you're feeling a bit rough after a coffee, then maybe think about changing to a decaf where you'll still get the taste and the enjoyment, but without the caffeine that causes so much of the symptoms. So symptoms of intolerance of caffeine will be mainly to do with the stomach. You'll get bloating elements, you get a little bit of nausea and abdominal cramps. Also quite a lot of headaches will occur. And then you get the stimulus element, which is the sort of the shaky hands and the feeling anxious. So if you think you've got an intolerance to caffeine, then it's worth considering doing a couple of things. First of all, you could try as an elimination diet. That's where you cut it out altogether. Just drop the caffeine from your life. But to a lot of people, that just will not be acceptable. Another way though, is to do a food intolerance test. And we do those here on the website. And that will give you a result quite quickly as to whether or not you've got an intolerance to caffeine. 